Hey, if you've struggled with or just avoided checking NOTAMs as part of your pre-flight prep, let me show you the easy way to get FAA NOTAMs. NOTAMs can be hard to get to. On some websites, you need to fill out flight information forms before you can even get at them. And it better be in the right format. And then, when you do, there are so many that don't apply to you. Then there are the huge blocks of cap, all caps text. If, if you've experienced this, then stay with me because I'm about to make your life easier. This FAA website makes NOTAM access and filtering easy. It joins the other FAA pre-flight websites with easy to remember names. First, we'll select NOTAM search. Acknowledge the disclaimer. Now we have options on how to describe the search area. Location allows you to enter a location identifier and it searches only for that location. Flight plan asks you for a route of flight. Geography searches an entered radius around a given location identifier. Lat long does the same for any lat long position. Accountability searches for the ATC facility that issued the NOTAM. And NOTAMs around me does the same thing for a radius around where your current position is. Let's take a look at a route search. The flight path allows you to describe your basic route using airport or other fixes. Buffer is how wide to make the search along the route. And alternates allows, well, for the obvious. Three formats of display are available, table, list, and map. You can then apply filters to narrow down the results. By the way, AD NOTAM simply means aerodrome. Don't skip those. And then further reduce the results with checkboxes on the list display. Now you end up with a list that's pretty easy to look through. Notice the red X on the closed airport. Closed runways show in a similar way. If this seems like a lot of work, stay with me. It's gonna get even easier. A history dropdown shows recent results from that browser. That's pretty good, but if you create a free account, you can save your searches and your filters so it gets really quick and easy after that. To save a search query, simply click the Save Query button, and they will display under Save Queries. The filters don't save with the query. Instead, you can designate a default filter setting that applies to all of your searches. That's done here under Your Account Settings. There, where you can also choose sort order and your default display type. Your safe queries can be viewed and deleted on the profile page also. But it easily changed by selecting other choices, hitting clear, and go back to my default. So with an account and a saved query with your default filter options, checking the NOTAMs and having a reliable list becomes really quick and easy. I put the link to the NOTAM search site in the pre-flight planning section of thesoaringpage.com, along with links to the user guide and NOTAM abbreviations guide. Go ahead and give it a try, and don't forget to check the NOTAMs as part of your required pre-flight duties. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment below on your NOTAM experience.